All right, so the Gosha thing. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this, the Gosha story, 16 year old kid gets into uh, Gosha's DMs. They start chatting up, talking about a lookbook shoot. At least that's what Gosha's, that's what Gosha's publicity team is talking about. Gosha's asking the kid to go to the restroom to take a picture. Kid's like, oh, my mom is in there right now. <laughs> I just, I, I find this fascinating. He's like, yo, my mom is in there right now, so I can't really go into the restroom. And then Ghost is like, oh, I'm pretty sure your mom won't go into the restroom with you, blah, blah, blah. You can go ahead and read the whole statement on uh, Diet Prada. The, you know, the response is on, on Hypebeast and Heist and Body everywhere. And the all the stuff is on Diet Prada. You can see this exchange. Gosha's team is talking about how, you know, it was not how it seemed. A lot of the messages were deleted to make it seem weird, but it wasn't like that. That's good and all. I can, I can understand that. Uh, what I don't understand is why, why it went that far. <laughs> and, and how is this a referendum on where we should be headed in 2019? What we're talking about is a 16-year-old on in Instagram who probably likes Gosha as a designer or likes his clothes or at least wants to be in a lookbook shoot that features Gosha's clothing. And this is 16, man. These 16, impressionable. And, and, and let's be real, the fashion industry is well-documented for taking young, impressionable people and putting them in front of a camera and saying, hey, if you want to be a part of this, <laughs> you're going to have to take a picture in the bathroom, right? <laughs> so we know that this has been happening for a long time, but... It's the first time, it's one of the first times that we get to see it in plain view. And that's not to say that Gosha was completely, I mean, blindsided by this. I mean, the minute that you learn about somebody being 16, that's the minute that the conversation ceases, in my mind. I mean, I, I, I think that the conversation ceases once kid says, yeah, I'm 16, going on 17, I really want a moped, right? <laughs> And my mind, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, this conversation ends, right? I, I, this conversation ends easily. And I, I really believe that it, it, it speaks so much to the fashion industry, but it also speaks to what young people are willing, to, some young people, because I don't like to put this on all young people, because some young people are smarter than this, what they're willing to do for clout for social media fame, for in, for for just to be out there, just to be out there, just to be seen, just to be known, even whether it's positive or negative, I'm willing to do what it takes, son, for everybody to know me in Gosha. Man, Jesus, man. Jesus. Why did you not ask this boy his age first? And why when you know you continue the conversation? <laughs> Like, come on, bro. That is not what we do here. <laughs> like, that is not what we do. That's not what happens. That is not the way that things are supposed to go down. Because you don't know what anybody is about. You know, and here it's happening too in Japan. Kids are quitting school. They're quitting school to become Instagram models. They're quitting school to become Instagram models. And I know if it's happening here in Japan, oh, I know it's happening in the West. I know it's happening in the West. They are quitting school to become influencers. That's not to say that it's not a viable profession because obviously it is. But you're quitting school to become an influencer on Instagram or YouTube or Twitter. I don't know, like, Especially on like Instagram, Snapchat, you know. I know if Japanese kids, and Japanese kids are not brazen like that. If Japanese kids are willing to, to shed that, to shed school for fame on Instagram, then I know Western kids are like, school? <laughs> I can be an Instagram model son, and I'm willing to do anything that it takes, even if it's outing a designer. And that's exactly what happened. Again, Goshi, you know better. But that really speaks to where I think the culture should be headed. So young people, man, don't be suckers. Like, seriously, man, like, it's sad. It's sad to see something like this happen because I know that coming from LA, this is part of the course, man. Hollywood, if you you, you know, if you've been to LA, you live in LA, you're from LA, you, you're from that area, you know this is happening all the time. This is not nothing new, all right? This is not anything new, right? To get my grammar correct. This is not anything new. This happens all the time. 
but it's everything to gain clout, everything to gain likes, to gain followers. There are people paying for, people will pay for followers, pay for likes. They'll pay for it. That right, that right there shows you. And people are willing to do anything. I saw a video, credit to CMG Breezy. I, we're going to be showing it right here. I mean, these are people who are, who are literally looking, looking, literally looking <laughs> like zombies. Looking like a scene from World War Z, man, to get some sneakers. To get some sneakers. I mean, there's really no other statement that I can put behind that except to get sneakers. For the clout, for the likes, to resell. The culture has been completely watered down to hyper consumerism. And I and going into 2019, I would love to see us move away from that. A move away from clout chasing and move away from hyper consumerism. I would really love it. And you know what? There's a lot of people who are there's a lot of young people who are moving away from it, who are like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I'm tired of taking the L. And a lot of it is just due to the fact that they can't get anything. I'm tired of taking the L. I'm tired of, you know, people making fun of me because I'm wearing the, s <laughs> the same thing as everybody else are, or I'm in this line. I'm tired of, you know, old heads thinking that I'm j I just wear Supreme or I I'm not about anything. I'm not about this fashion thing. I want to know more, right? I want to graduate from this. I want to, I want to change because let's be real. The people who really control the narrative, it's not the young people. It may seem that way. The young people can like control the fashion narrative, the street fashion narrative. That's not true. It's people like myself, <laughs> right? We control the narrative because what we're doing is we're giving the content out there and we're giving our take on it. That's not to say that I'm the biggest one that does it. Of course, you have other people out there that have their take on it that are much bigger than the casual, right? You have your Magnuses, you have Jacob Wallace, you have all these guys out there, you know, who control the narrative, who tell you like, oh, this is that and this, or this is that and this. Shout out to my boy, Alex Valos. <laughs> I do that on purpose, man. I'm just messing with you, right? Who, they have a narrative, right? And they want to show you that narrative. It's people like myself, people who are, uh, you know, the guys that on, on at High Somebody and High Beast and Complex, they control the narrative. So you're listening to them. Yeah, you guys may wear the clothes, but we're the ones that are saying, hey, X is good. X is, listen, I'm, we're in Japan. The casual is in Japan, right? The whole organization is run through Japan. And I'm sitting here telling you about Japanese brands. Oh, this brand right here you need to get into. This brand right here you need to get into. Yes, we control the narrative. And it, we, and, but at the same time, we don't control the hype. We don't control what's going to be hot and what's not. Sometimes we can, right? Sometimes we can. We have the ability to do so, but we have to follow where, you know, where the water kind of takes us. We have to follow that. We have to we have to sit there and we have to be like, okay, can we make content on this or we can't make content on that? And I would love for us to be a little bit more diverse in those opinions. Listen, the casual has not strayed away from japan in general we like we like the fact that we can talk about japanese fashion as much as we can talk about international fashion and that's where i think i personally think that we should be headed in terms of the culture itself to become more international to become more cultured to become less driven by clout less driven by what's hot or what we want to be hot or or you know creating this narrative like yo you need to get these sneakers and and all of us Every single last one of us who is on YouTube, we know those releases. At least if you're in the sneaker in, if you're in the sneaker world, we know we have to cover those stories. We know we have to cover them in our way, but we know we have to cover them. That's what's crazy about it because we know what's going to get us the views. We know what's going to get us what's going to get people to watch. And we make our living that way. That's what we do. But we would much rather talk about we would much rather talk about progression in this area. We don't want to have to keep on buying X shoe because we know it's going to be hot and we know that we are, are like X piece of clothing because we know it's going to be hot. We know people are going to watch it. And I believe 
I believe that's where we're headed. I believe more people are want, want to, at least on this channel, on the casual, because we make it well known. This is the reason why the growth has been kind of like, it's been, it's, it's growing, but it's not like, it's not like, <laughs> like that's my symbol for going faster, right? It's not like a rocket ship because we concentrate, I like to think that we concentrate on fashion, the culture and the fashion surrounding it and, and just coming at it from the viewpoint of just being like cool about it. It's just, you know, it's, it's the casual, right? But the whole Gosha thing, that ain't casual. The Jordan Concord 11 release, that ain't casual. That's not something that I can, I personally can co-sign. I can't co-sign it. Unless you want to make headway in the industry, you got to let them know that you're serious. And I hope that we're, we're there. I hope that we get there. That's my biggest that's my biggest thing going in towards uh, 2019. We got to get there, man. We, we got to be taken seriously. As a culture, what you're engaging in is not the rage against the machine, street wear culture that of yesteryear. That's not what you're engaging in. You're engaging in hyper-consumerism, if that's what you're about. But to end on a good note, I think we're headed in the right direction. You see more and more people who are kind of doing their own thing, trying to find different stuff. Half the time I look on like a, a on a forum or on Reddit or something, people are like, yo, what are some new brands that we need to check out? What are some Japanese, you know, people are asking us all the time, yo, what's some Japanese brands that we should check out, you know? And I and, I, and that's very encouraging. So I see that happening, um, but I would like for it to take a, I would like for it to increase, that, that kind of feeling to increase dramatically going into 2019. But I want to know what you guys think about it, all right? So if you're on YouTube watching this right now, go ahead and let us know what you think in the comments about this whole situation. You can either talk about Ghost of Jordan, Concord 11 release, whatever, and how it really kind of plays into this idea of what we should be going forward in street culture or street fashion. Uh, and then uh, if you guys want to, you can keep the conversation going on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you can follow your boy again, Reggie Casual on Instagram and Twitter and the casual official, the casual dot CEO uh, on Instagram and the casual underscore CEO on Twitter. Uh, but most importantly, you know what it is. Keep it locked right here for all of your info and in international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy and keep it casual. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. And I'll see you guys in a minute.